The pinch me moment, I remember I opened a play in New York and I'd been so alarmed and scared for months because I agreed to do the job and I used to wake up every morning thinking, why did I do this? I'm going to open a play on Broadway. You know, and it was just like such a, you know, and then we, and then the previews were surreal. And uh, then the opening night was like me looking into my colleagues' eyes and just reading their minds. And they were looking at me thinking, well, he's the senior member of the company. How come he's falling apart? Every time he <laughs> speaks, it's bullshit. You know, that experience for like two and a half hours. And then, and then, the, the, then somebody told me the reviews were OK, so we were sort of safe. And we'd sold out anyway because of Julianne Moore was in it, which was a wonderful thing. And then the next night, I had a driver called Andrew. And he in and in a big, you know, one of those big SUVs, because in America they give you a driver for the theatre, which is like, you know, on, you know, on here, you hit, in England you get the bus, you know what I mean? But there they give you a driver. And he was called Andrew, he was from Colombia. And I was I was somewhere between the, the M&M store on the way home. We stopped, we'd always stop at the M&M shop and I'd get a sack of M&Ms. <laughs> and then I was halfway <laughs> to the car and I opened the door of the car and Barry White, who I had no previous relationship with, Barry, I don't know how I'd missed Barry, but anyway, was doing never ever gonna give it up. And I had this, and I and I had this revelation, all the fear in my head dismantled, and I realized we'd opened and it was okay, and I could stop being scared now. And I got in the car and I said, and I had a lot of chocolate, let's face it, I had a lot of chocolate. <laughs> and I and I remember saying to Andrew, I said, Andrew, turn that fucker up. And he turned it up and he went, Yes, boss. He used to call me boss, which is always satisfying. So and and he turned it up, <laughs> and then he and I said, "Let's go to Brooklyn for dessert," because I had a big sugar thing going on at the time. And he put the wheel between, and I had my arms in the air, and like this to Barry, and he put his arms in the air. He had his, the wheel between his knees, <laughs> and I was I was I, I was inhaling M and M. Your driver was driving without hands. Yeah, through yeah. New York City over Brooklyn Brilliant. Bridge, and I knew when I brought, and, and I was perfectly suspended in the world, you know what I mean? Everything, it was a moment of pure ecstasy. I'm not great at happiness, but I'm quite good at relief, you know what yeah. I mean? And it was just like, I knew when I took my hands down that it was over, so I kept them up there for quite a long time. I mean, does that count as pinch? Totally. Yeah, totally.